Hey friends, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are at Hobby Lobby and we're going to go shopping for items that are on sale this week that will also work for a really nice non-seasonal home decor. If you are new here, my name is Natalie and every week I take you home decor shopping at my favorite stores, showcasing designer dupes at more affordable prices. If you enjoy this video and you're new here, I really hope you can consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and follow following me on Instagram for more updates there. Thank you so much for being here and without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. I normally don't do this, but I did film the intro of today's video before getting into the store and frankly, I didn't know I was going to encounter never before seen home decor on this day. And I found it right where they place their year round non-seasonal decor and the name for the collection is Market Square. I did confirm with the cashier that the prices on the tags are final prices, meaning they won't have any additional discounts. But to be honest, I do have to say that prices are pretty reasonable reasonable for how pretty this collection is. She said they brought in this collection a couple of weeks back from when I filmed this video and she said that customers have been giving very good feedback on all of these things and stuff has been selling out quick. So if there's anything in here that you love and want to go grab, I would say it's better to go to Hobby Lobby sooner rather than later. These stoneware canisters were definitely some of my absolute favorites of this shopping trip, but I do think this entire set of stone dishes can elevate your non-seasonal kitchen decor so much. I also love how complete this set is from large salad bowls to dinner plates, salad plates, and many other kitchen accessories that you will see in just one second. But back in January, I showcased Walmart's stone dinnerware as a complete comparable with those from Pottery Barn and in my opinion this collection looks even more similar and I even like the grayish undertone that these pieces have but even though they have gray in them I still feel like they can bring so much warmth to your kitchen. On the more traditional and neutral side they have these white canisters I believe the shape of the handle adds so much style to them and if you want more of a statement these black shiny canisters are it for you. All of these come in three different different sizes and then I came across these which look a little bit more vintage now one important remark about these is that they do not belong to this collection which means these will go on sale at certain times during the month and we will talk about that but the prices you're seeing on the screen are going to be full prices back to the market square collection and they have this section for neutral kitchen accessories for very nice prices starting with these table runners you have a two options to choose from between beige and dark gray. For the oven mitts, I was only able to see the gray ones at my local store. I'm honestly not so sure about the quality of these, but prices are really nice for just under $3. Kitchen towels are retail individually, and you can choose between decorative cloth ones or just terry cloth for a functional use. I found these sets of decorative kitchen towels with a wooden spoon, and I believe this is the perfect little house warming gift. Gift. Same is the case with these, which are a combination of a wooden board and kitchen towels. And you can choose in between different options for those kitchen towels, which I think it's so, so pretty. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these is your favorite. I found the placemats for this collection in the beige and dark gray options as well for a bit under $4 a piece. So if your table has six seats, you will still be under the $25 mark to buy a full set. This collection has a lot of wood and accessories and I'm so happy to see this and let me tell you why. Usually in these types of elements are added into the spring shop collection each year. Not only I feel like the spring shop collection of this year it's not what it used to be compared to years past but I also was really missing that full aisle of wooden boards and decorations they used to put out. I could be wrong, but I know my local Hobby Lobby does not have it in the Spring Shop collection, so my guess is that they decided to put it on the non-seasonal decor area, which I'm happy about. However, even though each one of these single pieces are beautiful, I still feel like the variety is a bit short, but we will give it some time to see how this collection 
collection evolves. Also worth mentioning that most of these pieces or wood pieces are all made of acacia wood, which can be very expensive in stores like Pottery Barn. So being able to buy these at Hobby Lobby makes for a more affordable option. And in case you missed it, I did showcase an entire collection of acacia wood items from Walmart, which is also very affordable. So I'll make sure to link that video down below if you haven't seen it. Now back to this video on these pieces, and even though I said there's not a lot of variety in the cutting board department, I was really surprised to see a collection of wooden spoons where they do offer options that I've never seen at Hobby Lobby before. These spoons are also labeled as acacia wood and they're fairly affordable. And among those pieces that I've never seen before, I found this rolling pin. It's a small one, but it's under $3. They also have this set of four coats for under $5. I thought they were very beautiful. Let's talk about the items that go on sale at Hobby Lobby on a weekly basis. The first category is what I like to call the table decor one or everything that goes on a surface. This category goes on sale 50% off every other week. And while I recommend you to always check the Hobby Lobby app, specifically their weekly ad, these are the weeks that I estimate this category of decor will be on sale for the next month. That being said, keep in mind that the prices on the screen are after the discount so if you want to shop at these prices make sure you hit the store at the right week on this day i saw so many new to me aged butt vases like these terracotta ones they are all the same price but you do have different shapes to choose from and i think they will be great for shelf decor or you can also use them in really small surfaces then i also found this donut butt vase that can help you modernize rustic elements for a more transitional style of decor and then these white amphoras are ideal for small surfaces these actually happen to be on clearance for $4.99. Then down here, I wouldn't call these butt vases, but more like small vases. You have two different colors to choose from. This is stark white, I would say. And then the ones on the left have that very pastel sand beige color, which I think it's so beautiful. On the section for the larger vases that they have at Hobby Lobby, which by the way, I showcase fully on a previous video that I posted in January. So I'll make sure to link those down below. I did find some new designs on this day, like these H vases that I'm showcasing right here. They come in two different sizes. Olive green is a trendy color for this year. So we're seeing these smaller and butt vases right here on that shiny glossy finish. Finish. Another new to me design is these right here. They have two different sizes for those kind of like amphoras and then the middle one is a donut base. I also found this one hanging around on its own which I recently got one from the at home store that looks very similar. These right here I thought were absolutely adorable. Those are on the smaller side. And then these right here are so pretty. I can't believe they're $12.99 on discount week. And these look very high-end and designer because of the smaller handles that they have on the side. Actually, these right here are a dupe for one that's currently being retailed at the McGee & Co. website, only that this is way more affordable than these distress ones I liked, not only because of the effect, it's not only produced with paint, but they do have some texture to them, which makes it seem even more realistic and as if they age in a more organic way. Then these bubble vases right here, which come in black and white, and you have two different sizes to choose from. The largest one will be $9.99 on discount week. And that's everything that I saw on this day on the table decor section that I've never seen before. Now I moved on to the wall decor section, which also goes on sale for 50% off every other week or the opposite weeks from the table decor. These are the weeks that I estimate this is going to go on sale, but always make sure you check Hobby Lobby's weekly ad just to be 100% sure. Also keep in mind that the prices on the screen are already discounted as per the coupon. Of course, the first thing that I'm going to feature is going to be oil paints. I believe this one is new to me. This one right here I have showcased in the past. I love that it's framed and matted and it adds such a nice elegant touch to it. 
and I found these with those bohemian flowers and those earthy tones. Each one is $14.99 on Discount Week. And then next, something I've never seen before are these pergamines. They have those beautiful mushrooms for $6.99 discounted. Those will look beautiful on a nursery. This one right here would have come home with me if it wasn't because I was not on the right discount week and I didn't want to pay full price for it. And then I moved to some wall pieces from the Spring Shop collection, which is always 40% off. Like I mentioned before, I do believe the Spring Shop collection this year was not the best, at least not compared to previous years. I think it lacked a lot in the table decor department, but on the wall art department, I think they brought in some very nice, beautiful pieces. Lots of oil paints that you can adjust to a farmhouse style of decor. This one right here, it's an abstract piece, or you can definitely go more transition or traditional with some of the pieces that you choose. I really loved this one for $47.99 and I love the frame that this painting has been put on. I think it's very antique looking and feminine. Now let's talk about the mirrors. Back in the day, these used to go on sale on wall decor week, but now I have recently learned that they are always on sale at all times for 50% off. So if you see a price on a white tag, that means that that pricing still needs to get the 50% off coupon. If you see it on the yellow tag, that means that's the final price. And it's pretty awesome because now you can just go buy mirrors at Hobby Lobby at any time and you can still take advantage of that discount. I do remember back in 2021, early 2021, they came out with their first anthropology dupe mirror, which kind of broke the internet. And I think they know that because they have been bringing them back ever since. And as shown on the screen, they have different shades of gold or brass and even black like this one right here. Now I wanted to explore the floral area at Hobby Lobby, which has two sections, the seasonal and the non-seasonal one. And this entire section actually goes on sale for 40% off on the same weeks as the wall decor goes on sale. I'll make sure to leave you a guideline on the screen for the weeks that I estimate these will go on sale. The prices on the screen are already discounted, but I did wanted to showcase a few items that I've been in love with. And one of these days I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby on the right week and I'm going to buy every single one of these because they're beautiful. Starting with these branches, they have that off a green tone, almost grayish, and I love the height. Usually the higher branches you're going to find on the seasonal area right here, which every Hobby Lobby has. These olive branches are also beautiful with the small olives. Then I found these assorted bunches and I call assorted because they have different types of plants and you can definitely create an arrangement with not much of a thought process as to how to mix that greenery. This right here is one that I've been eyeing for months and this is definitely going to come home with me on the day that I go to the store in the right week. This is a really tall piece of greenery and two or three can definitely help you create a statement piece. Then this eucalyptus actually looks very similar to one that McGee and Co has on their website right now. And again, I really love the height of the pieces. These really remind me to ones that A Floral is retailing. These are $3.59 with a discount. And I actually showcase an even cheaper option at Walmart for these. Moving on to the non-seasonal area or the smaller bunches, these are ones that I have owned for a while. I love them, I love the tone of green, and I love that one bunch can definitely give you an arrangement. These right here are fairly affordable and you can also create a small arrangement with a single piece for under $5. These seemed really natural looking pieces which I really really liked. And then these right here are super flowy and they have a lot of volume for under under six dollars. Then I found these for $4.19 for a more feminine French country style. These have actually small touches of purple. They are on the more expensive side for $10.79. And these are definitely ones that are going to come home with me when I go to the store on the right day. I think these are absolutely beautiful. These are actually super voluminous for $12. You can definitely create a very nice arrangement with those. And maybe just a couple of these will be enough to fill in a DIY wreath. 
And that's going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite item that I shared with you in today's video. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I really hope I can see you in my next one. Bye.